Hey everybody, it's our stage manager and dungeon master, Liz. Oh, okay, good to know. Did you, did, did you, no, did you, did you bring that thing I asked for like 10 minutes ago? Hey, there we go. Liz, go ahead and bring that to our friend. She, he's got to prove, or she's got to prove her identity with the, with the thumbs up uh, lighter thing. Unless they're going to, oh no, they erased it. I don't know if we should still give it to them. Um, yeah, what the hell, let's do it. We were, we were going to not do a song and now we're going to do it. <laughs> because you asked so nicely. <laughs> Well, it's sort of a Halloweenish kind of song. Yeah, it's very Halloweenish. Yeah. This is a uh, this is part of a songwriting contest. Uh, the song came out of uh, called Masters of Song Fu. Very, very briefly, the particular round we were in, uh, it was us versus Jonathan Colton. Some of you may be familiar. And uh, in Song Fu, you're given the theme ingredients. In this one, you had to write a song in the style of your opponent. Uh, if you don't know Jonathan's music, just know it's very different from ours. <laughs> It often is more serious. It is still funny, but it, it actually has some emotional depth to it. It was a big challenge. You know, they're like real songs. Real songs. <laughs> uh, but we didn't have the hardest task. Uh, in fact, Jonathan had to write a song in our style, and Jonathan won. <laughs> and he deserved to. Uh, you will just know the, the title of his song, and you will probably agree. Big Dick Arts a Polka. <laughs> Right between the eyes, but I would say maybe not in the conventional sense we won because we actually got a song we could play during our set. Uh, so this song... Excuse me. It pains me even to sing it. Uh, this song uh, in the style of Jonathan Colton is about a mad scientist who is sad. And again, those of you unfamiliar, well, with Jonathan's work, basically, you should know that with those two elements, we cover about 86% of his repertoire. <laughs> you can tell him we said that. Uh, we hope you enjoy this. This is called Live. Slowly, she gives me a smile. Now we've got each other. 
each other. Thank you. Hopefully from that song you can tell two things. One, how much we really do love and are inspired by Jonathan Colton's music, that's one. And number two, in general, how much we take seriously the musical side of what we do. Um, we are a, uh, a comedy act, in theory. <laughs> a com comedy act. But if we feel like if the music under it wasn't really solid and interesting and good, that the comedy wouldn't be nearly as funny. And for that reason, we feel it's important during our set to do just a couple of short tribute songs. Yes, music is awesome. And uh, these are just a couple of short things to acknowledge some of the folks who've inspired us for our entire lives. This first one is called, If James Taylor Were On Fire. Somebody please, won't you get me a fire extinguisher And put me out I can't stand the heat Though I've seen fire and rain I can do with a little less fire One more very brief tribute song. This is If Bob Dylan Were Hiding at the Bottom of a Well. We have time for one more song. Aww. Not that yet. Save it, nerds. Trust me, that, that's later. Um, but uh, we have one more song before we move on to the next of the many wonderful acts we have for you tonight. First of all, uh, before we do that, I want to thank you all for coming out. Thanks so much. We went to uh, that said, we are in this gorgeous theater with this beautiful proscenium and the Shut it up there. I'm almost Muppet like. It is very. <laughs> Why do we always come here? I guess we'll never know. It's like some kind of torture to have to watch a show. <laughs> <laughs> really, we use any excuse we can to deploy yeah, the Muppet yeah. hours. <laughs> um. But I feel like we have to we have to bring up our game a little bit for this last song. Yes, somehow. it almost seems like. Um, let me ask you this. Do you like musicals? <laughs> Most of the ladies, that's all right. Uh, I'm gonna have to see about something else that y'all might like as well. Do you like video games? <laughs> now we have the critical mass and you are all in luck because right now, here, tonight, in that little magic box, we are going to do for you Frogger, the Frogger musical. Now why the chicken might have done it, I just couldn't say. But if I'm gonna make it home, this is the only way. Five lanes of traffic and embankment then a stream. It's like it's some kind of amphibian fever dream. The total lack of law enforcement on this road's a crime. I write a letter, but I simply haven't got the time. Give me a call tomorrow if I haven't died. And I can tell you how I made it to the other side. Up left, a break, 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 down the up, up left, a break. If I make it to the other side, up left, a break, 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 down the up, up left, a break. I hope I make it to the other side. Up left, a break, 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 down the up, up left, a break. 
I hope I never to the other side. special message, a personalized message from a person who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight. 